Tonight, activists fear a bridge that's supposed to join two North Portland parks will end up killing a grove of sequoias. Welcome to COIN 6 News at 11. I'm Ken Boddy. A group of activists is looking to stop a walking bridge project in North Portland, and they say they're doing it to save trees. Today, the group held a memorial service for one tree they've already lost. Chris Woodard is live in North Portland, and Chris, what's the goal here for them? Yeah, Ken, the group who met here at Pier Park today say they know they can't do anything about the tree that's already gone. They say their concern at this point is the rest of the trees in the park behind this parking lot. And they say they're not buying the park department's claim that they're done cutting. A week and a half ago, there was nothing they could do to stop the saw. One woman was arrested and others protested for a day, but this giant sequoia tree was cut down. Today, a somber ceremony. I had to come and see and, you know, mourn and pay homage. Flowers, notes, and people gathering, they say, to mourn the loss of a tree. Even taking a moment of silence. We think it was just wrong headed from the beginning. Whoever applied that grant to the site made a mistake. The root of their problem here is a plan to put in a bike and pedestrian bridge connecting Chimney Park and Pier Park. Walk over here very often. But according to Portland Parks and Rec spokesperson Mark Ross, it is an ODOT requirement the bridge must be built strong enough and big enough to hold an emergency vehicle. That's a bunch of baloney. People are worried they'll lose more trees after finding out about a path to the bridge required because of that vehicle access. These trees, they look really strong, and they are, but their roots are very shallow and fragile. Tonight, Ross tells us there is already a path in place near the bridge site that service vehicles use now and says there are no plans to cut down any more trees. Tonight, Ross also tells us that that access path has not been designed yet. He said the drawings that are out there right now are just for demonstration purposes. But it's not a lot of consolation for the people who are so worried about these trees. Reporting for you live in North Portland, I'm Chris Woodard, Coin 6 News.